back to my channel today i have a cooking video for you you guys seem to love my cooking videos well on instagram live you do anyway i'm cooking these these sausage rolls i got the recipe from my mother-in-law and i've had them before they taste delicious this is actually my first time cooking them they were relatively easy a little bit time consuming but i was filming it anyway let's get into the cooking so here are all the ingredients that you will need. You will need one kilo of sausage mince and 500 grams of beef mince. I've got a kilo here, I just need to halve it. You will then need two carrots and two onions and then some salt and pepper, some curry powder. This is two tablespoons of curry powder. You'll also need some breadcrumbs, some tomato sauce and some Dijon or French mustard. And then you will need six sheets of puff pastry. And then you'll need an egg to give it a nice glaze on top. You want to put your oven on to 180 degrees if it is fan forced. If it's not fan forced, then 200 degrees Celsius. And then you line your baking trays. And then we can start prepping the ingredients. So you want two carrots and to grate them up and chuck it in a bowl. Then you want to take your onions and you want to peel them and take off the ends and then grate them. I had actually never grated an onion before, so I was quite interested to see what two whole onions would look like grated. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, then add in all of the other ingredients. So the two tablespoons of curry powder, you want to add in the quarter cup of Dijon mustard. Then you want to go ahead and add in your one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. I only had like the twisty cracked pepper, so I just did that. Um, and then half a cup of tomato sauce. I found mixing things as I went a little bit easier, so I'm going to mix it all up and then add in half of the breadcrumbs. So Two cups in total, I'm just putting in a cup here and then I'm gonna save a cup for a little bit later down the track. This is the sausage mince and then this is the 500 gram beef mince. And then honestly, it's just easier to mix it with your hands and I would recommend getting the biggest bowl that you have. Uh, there's me adding in the second cup of breadcrumbs. Um, this just is easier to do it with your hands. I know it's like super messy, but by the time it comes together, it actually pretty much all comes off your hands, which is great. Look at this dog. She's so upset. She's not getting any sausage roll mix. This is the look she does when she's upset. She like hangs her head and stands like this. It's so funny. I think it's very typical of a Dalmatian to do this. Now we're going to prep for a little bit later. We want to crack the egg and then whisk it up. I just used a fork. Then you just wanna open up your puff pastry sheets and separate them just so that they're defrosted so they're easy to work with. Next up, you wanna measure your mixture as a whole and then divide it into six and just measure them all out so that the mixture will be nice and even between the sausage rolls. Then I took each sheet of pastry and folded it in half. I did a little slit either side so I could work out where to cut it evenly. And I would suggest not eyeballing it because I did it once and I stuffed it up. So definitely measure or fold in half and cut. Then you want to take a pile of mixture so and then cut it in half or rip it in half and then make a sausage out of it and lay it in the center of one of the halves of pastry. And then you take one side of the pastry and fold it over and then take the other side and fold it over the top. Make sure that it's overlapping. You do just want to press down where you have overlapped it on the edges just to ensure that it's all going to stay within the pastry. And you may need to stretch the pastry a little bit as well for some pieces, uh, but that's all good. It should have a little bit of elasticity in it to be able to do that. And then you just want to repeat for all of the other pieces of pastry and mince. Once you have all of your sausages together, it's time to cut. Uh, I actually cut in half and then I cut into quarters and then into eighths. And 
that was a perfect size for me. I just wanted them bite size, but you can make them whatever size you want. I first went in with a steak knife, and as you can see, it's collecting a lot of the mixture on it. So I did actually change to like a chef's knife, and just one that we usually use to cut up veggies and meat and things like that. And that worked a whole lot better. And of course, as you cut the sausage rolls up, you want to place them on your lined tray. She sat there the whole time. And some treaties. Treaties? Okay. Oh, did you like that? You liked it? I bet you did. Just one final step before you put them in the oven. This is where you want to use your egg mixture and a little brush and paint the glaze on top of the sausage rolls. Um, I found that there was a lot of mixture so I was quite generous with my coating. And then you want to pop them in the oven for 25 minutes. Once they are done, they should look nice and golden and brown like the top ones. The bottom tray actually weren't as brown, but that's pretty standard for a bottom tray. However, I kept them like this because I was planning to freeze them. And then when they're reheated in the oven, then they can cook off a little bit more. Here are the sausage rolls all done. I do have some more behind me, but I'll probably freeze those ones. I'm gonna taste test these. These are in how to plate. I'm not gonna eat all of these. This is just serving purposes. I'll just pick this little one on top. Dip it in some tomato sauce. Feel free to serve with tomato sauce, tomato relish, whatever kind of sauce you like. Damn. I would probably be inclined to use a little bit less curry powder. Which, thinking of it, I didn't even measure what Dean's mum gave me. I just assumed that she gave me the right amount. So, um, I think that there was two tablespoons in the recipe, but you could probably use one. I think that, that would be fine. It does give it a bit of an edge though. Like, makes them taste a little bit different. Also makes mess everywhere. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you've got any suggestions, leave them down below. I think my next one is going to be pumpkin and bacon cheese muffins. Oh my God, they are so delicious. But yeah, hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye.